Hello friends, this video on Amai's part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next question is, aniline does not undergo fiddle graft reaction. In fiddle graft reaction, we have seen that ALCL3 is required. Correct? Now what happens is, this fiddle graft reaction since it happens in the presence of ALCL3 and ALCL3 is again acidic. So we have seen just now that aniline reacts with H plus to form anilinium ion. Here also, my aniline will react with AlCl3 itself to form a salt. Correct, because aniline is a base, not a strong base, but it's a base, and this is acidic. So acid-based reaction will happen in form of salt. But that is something we don't want because fiddle graft reaction AlCl3 is used. What it does is, for example, you have RCl and we get AlCl3. The job of AlCl3 is to take AlCl4- and R+. It has to make a strong electrophile. Correct? This is electrophile. But if this itself will react with the compound, with the reactant, this will not happen, right? So this is, this is the problem here. So since this aniline is basic in nature and AlCl3 is acidic, they'll react to form salt. The purpose of this was to form R+, that will not happen. So here we have to arrange in a decreasing order of the pKb values. So we know that pKb value is nothing but it is inversely proportional to basic strength. So let's first order this in the basic strength and then we'll reverse the order. Correct. So we see which one is most basic. See this C6H5 if you see this is a aromatic ring, this is a least basic. And this will also be least basic. So we can ignore these as of now, but this is the least basic actually because this has at least CS3 group to give electrons to this nitrogen. This is least basic. And it will be second least basic, I think. Out of these, if you see, this nitrogen has one ethyl group, this has two ethyl group, obviously. This is the max basic. If I draw to draw the basic strength, this is my max basic, and then will be this guy, one one ethyl group, and then this guy, and the last will be C six H five H two. Correct. This we have we have done a lot of uh, numericals on this. So if you want to give the pKb order, it will be just reverse of this. I'll just keep things intact. I'll just reverse the sign. This I'll reverse the sign. This will be the order of PKB. Correct. First find the basic strength and then just reverse the order. Don't get confused. That is the best way to do it. Here we have to arrange in the order of their basic strength. So I have C6H5 and H2. I know this is the least basic. This is my least. Again, this is C6H5 and H2 with a sheet of two hydrogen. I have NCH3, CH3 here. That will be also less only. And these two are my alkyl. These are my aryl amines, the alkyl amines. They have to be more basic. And out of these two, if I compare, this has two ethyl group, this has one methyl group. Obviously, this is most basic. This is least. And out of these two, obviously, this will be the second most basic. So this will be the third, obviously. Correct? So if I just draw this, order of basic strength 
So this is my C2H5, 2 NH is the most basic and then I have CH3 NH2 is second most and then I'll take this guy. And the least is Ne. This is the strength. Why? Because here if you see this nitrogen at least getting some electrons from this CH3. Here this nitrogen, this benzyl group is taking out electrons. But here at least there are two CH3 group to give some electrons. Here if you see there is only one CH3 group to give electron to this nitrogen. Here there are two C2H5 group to give electron to this nitrogen. This is most basic. The next is we have to increase the, we have tried in the increasing order of their basic strength. Aniline, first let me draw the figure. Aniline is this. Paramitro aniline. And then paratolidine. So if you see, if we compare these three, this night, this in both case, this my benzyl group is something which takes electron, but CS3 group is something which gives electron, and it gives takes all the more electron. There's a hydrogen here, this not, does nothing. So if we compare these three, this thing has to be most basic. It is at least giving some electron, the CS3 part. This is benzyl group is taking electron, and it group is also taking electron. This will be least basic. This will be something in middle. So that will be the strength. This is number one, most basic, number two, and this is number three, least basic. The next is we have to again arrange in the increasing order of their basic strength. So here, if you see, this is going to be the least basic, that is sure. Why? Because this is aniline. And here instead of hydrogen, I have some CH3 here, but this also is aromatic and this is aliphatic if you see. Since this is aliphatic, this will be most basic. Why? Because out of three, I have one aliphatic and two aromatic. So obviously aliphatic is most basic. This is the order. This is my first, this is my second, and this is my least basic, third. Why if you compare these two, if you see, this nitrogen has at least one CH3 to give electrons. This nitrogen has both the hydrogens. So this will be least basic. So we have to write the dec decreasing order of basic strength in the gas phase. So in gas phase I don't care about the solvation. So I have C2H5, C2H5 2 and C2H5 3 molecules. So obviously this will be the most basic. Correct because if nitrogen has 3C2H5 and all these are giving electrons so this nitrogen will become all the more electron rich. This is most basic that is number one and then this one because it has 2C2H5 and then this guy because it has 1C2H5 at least and this ammonia it doesn't have any alkyl. So this is the order. This is most basic, second most basic, third most basic and this is least and this three. The next is we have to uh, arrange in the boiling point order. So we know that the C2H5OH, CH3, 2NH, C2H5, NH2. Alcohol will always have high boiling point because strongest hydrogen bond. Strongest hydrogen bond. So this will have maximum boiling point. If you compare these two, this has one hydrogen, this has two hydrogen. Correct? So if you compare these two, this will have least H bond. Maybe because only one hydrogen bond, this has two hydrogen bond. So this will be the first, this this law, this will be second, and this will be third. Because boiling point is directly proportional to H bond. More stronger is the hydrogen bond, more strongly this compound is held together, higher is the boiling point. 
how is the energy required to break them correct so my c2h5 oh that is my ethanol will have the highest boiling point So we have to now arrange in the increasing solubility of water. So solubility of water depends on is directly proportional to hydrogen bond and inversely proportional to bulkiness, right? Bulkiness of a hydrophobic group. So we see there's a bulky group attached here, and there are two hydrogen bond. Here also two groups are attached, not in bulky, but only one hydrogen bond. Here two hydrogen bond and only one bulky group, small group. So this will be the max soluble. Why? Going by both parameter, it has more hydrogen bond and the group is small. It is very, very bulky. This will be least soluble. Correct? Because if you see six carbon. This has four carbons. This has two carbon. So going by that also, if you see, this is max soluble, this is least soluble, and this will be somewhere in the middle. Let's take some conversion. We have to convert ethanoic acid to methane amine. So I have we have CH3, COOH, this is ethanoic acid. I have to convert this into CH3 NH2. So how can I do? If I can just convert this into CONH2, then I can remove CO part easily, right? Using Br2 and NOH, the reaction we have seen, bromine and NOH. So COH, if I convert into CONH2, to what I have to do first, I have to convert this into chlorine first, COCl. And this chlorine, then I can react with ammonia to make it. CONH2. So let's see this. As a COH, I have to convert this into chlorine, react with SOCl2, PCl3, PCl5, any of this, it will become Cl, then react with excess of ammonia. Excess obviously is required because it has to replace uh, both the hydrogens. So it becomes CH3 NH2. So once I have this CH3, CO, NH2, what I can react do is I can react this guy with bromine and NaOH. What will happen is CO will go off. We have seen this reaction. And this is the name. What is the name of this reaction? This is Hoffman degradation reaction. We have seen that Hoffman degradation because this CO is gone from here. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.